wavered, shimmering like a mirage before snapping into focus. Josh blinked, clearing away the fog from his eyes as he scanned his surroundings. Something was immediately wrong. Is everyone okay? He called out, recognizing the faces of his classmates materializing around him. They all nodded, their expressions tight with apprehension. Emily was the first to speak, her eyes squinting against the unfamiliar skyline. This doesn't look like home. No, it didn't. The air was thick, tinged with a sulfurous odor that burned their nostrils. Overhead, the sky was a chaotic palette. The blues and whites, replaced by shades of brown and gray, muddied and choked by pollution. Towers of blackened steel and glass loomed in the distance. Silhouettes in a world seemingly devoid of natural light. Brandon started coughing, doubling over as he pulled a makeshift mask over his face. What happened here? The answer came sooner than they would have liked. A ragged group of scavengers emerged from a nearby alley. Their eyes widened at the sight of the students, and not in a welcoming way. Josh took a step forward, hands raised in a universal sign of peace. We're not a threat. We're from the United States, just trying to find our way back home. The scavengers exchanged puzzled glances, their leader a man with a scruffy beard and eyes that had seen too much shook his head. United States? Don't know what you're talking about. You're either from Mega City North or you're from the Wastes. There's no in-between. A chill ran down Josh's spine. This wasn't the homecoming they'd expected. The term United States had generated not recognition, but confusion. It was as if their country, their past, had been wiped clean off the map. At that moment, one of the scavengers, a young woman, stepped forward. She eyed Josh's wrist, where a futuristic-looking watch was strapped, a bit of tech that he picked up on their journey home. Her eyes narrowed with suspicion, but also a glimmer of recognition. We better move, she said, breaking the awkward silence. If you're here, others will be coming, and you don't want to meet them.